Fish Africa is proudly sponsored by Bowls Brandy. The boys decide to target spotted grunter by drift bait fishing. So what we've decided to come here, right to the mouth, is a beautiful sand bank here, a slurt, then a bank bank on the other side. And all we're doing here is we're clapping the little, uh, little grunter. Well, looks like I've got a small grunter here on a mud prawn, on a circle look. Oh, he's definitely the runt of the litter, but I'm going to get a big one just now. Eh? When the tide pushes into river mouths, shoals of spotted grunter and white steenbrus move in to feed on the prawn banks. Hey. Lando decides to quickly release his small steenbrus before the camera spots it. No, it was just a small steeny that I just dropped here. Not a big fish. It's amazing how thick these little grunt are. Land and I always come and play here. Doesn't matter what size of fish are, you just have some fun. In the corner of the mouth. Yeah, well, you can catch these little ones for hours. So if you want to have some fun with the kids, just bring them to the river mouth. That's what you catch in their thousands. It shows you how pristine these waterways are. So what I'm doing there is just putting the circle hook from the bottom up through the top. So that comes out like that. So when you cast, the prawn's going to sit like that on the bottom. And he's going to be as lifelike as possible. And the grunter and little steenies here absolutely love it. So what we'll do, then wipe that nice smell off of him. Throw there towards the, the mud bank. Simply click the bale over. Just put your finger there for a little bit of added sensitivity. And then we let the rod and nylon do all the work there. But you'll see, so it just lands and then it just drifts slowly with the pushing tide. And then that grunter picks him up. And it's such great fun. I mean, even here we've got probably a, a 30 kilometer, 35 kilometer wind behind us. So that's why we've chosen a spot where the wind's behind us, so we don't go and fish on the other side, which makes it very uncomfortable. You can't throw with just a prawn with no sinker. You'd have to have a sinker. And then we throw from this side, and then obviously we're looking for, here we go. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Small grunter again. Look how quick that was while I was talking to you, and you can see there he's pulling my rod down. He's just, he's just eating the prawn there, you there, there, and just, and simply lift, like that. Ah, oh, I missed him, and, also a reason, I usually let them take a little while longer on these prawns, but because the grunter are very small, I don't want him to swallow this hook at all. So I'm not even bowing to him like I normally do. So I'm rather just picking up, and I'd rather not hook the fish than hook the fish. Just land that stick there. Yeah. When you basically hit it, it, it just, there's a little channel over there where the bank comes off. As you get to there, you go quite straight away. Unfortunately, when fish are on the bite, you can't decide what size fish goes for your bait. It's the baby steeny on a circle look. Fishing with a Bahama 3000. Lander, I, I hit the water. Did you see that? I just picked up and he jumped out the water. That water's not under this deep. This grunter looks a little better. A little bit bigger, not much, but still hell of a lot of fun. Yes, these guys fight really hard. And on light tackle, it's awesome fun. Yeah. Land and I are having tremendous fun here. Yeah. Every cast is a, a fish on a mud prawn. And the lack of thing here yeah, is we pump the mud prawn 40 meters away from us. So we've got fresh mud prawn the whole time. But yeah, slightly bigger fish. But uh, they're going to come. As the, as the tide's pushing more and more, we're getting better and better fish. And it's little steenies, little grunters. And the nice thing here, yeah, where the tide pushes hard like this, you don't get those flatties and that messing your bait around. And look at that circle. Look. In the side of the mouth, again, easy to take out. Lando wastes no time and hooks into another one. I wonder who's the better grunter fisherman between the brothers. What do you think, Lando? Just trying to chat out a fish at the moment. As you can see, I've got this huge fish again. Yeah, let's get another one. Yeah, you see now we've, we've actually spotted, well Lando spotted, I mean, we spotted some big grunter on the other side there. And we'll try and show you the, the boils. I'm, I'm keeping my eyes on them because I can see where the boil is and the mud cloud comes up. So what I want to do is I want to put my prawn within 3-4 meters of that and then I want to get that big fish because we've been playing around with these little fish and yes it's great, it's good fun but now let's get something big there. I'll show you right now. Wow, I'm actually perfect man. Now they're in that little corner there and every now and then you just see this massive mud puff and that's what we want because those little fish don't make those big mud puffs. Those fish of like 2-5 to five kilos make that puff. So excited, seeing some big fish because these little fish, yeah, it's great catching them, but we want these buses. We're going to get one now. Oh, that's a, that was on a, a mud prawn and a, and a sand prawn. 
That reel has a really smooth drag when the fish runs. Oh, this, this Bahama, this Fennel Bahama is an awesome reel for grunter fishing. Chad hooks his grunter and it's a double. Okay. This just goes to show how big these shoals are and how much fun you can enjoy. Yo, this is great fun. This lander actually spotted that, that bigger fish swimming on the other side there. And uh, then there's a couple tailing in the net on the other side as well. So we're going to definitely get some nice fish now, but that gave him a good, good fight. But look at these circle hooks, eh? In the corner of the mouth, you don't get any bad hookups in the throat. Yes, if you let him run, you're going to. But the way we're fishing, where you just bow your rod, then just lift it up, easiest thing in the world. But I mean, look at this condition. We are on the low tide, low push, clopping these little fish. Great for the kids, great for adults, great for anyone to have fun. Well then, Len, yeah. what do you say? Yeah, let's get back to another one. Oh, Lando. You see, this is what happens with my brother. If you know anyone, you get someone now. like Lando, <laughs> only, <laughs> only Lando can do that. Where he's trying to get the hook out and the circle goes through the fish's mouth into his nail. Well done, Lando. You always give me hours and hours of fun. It always happens to tough folks, so it's fine. <laughs> After Chad's help, Lando can finally free his fish. Oh baby, little steeny. I promise you, you put half a prawn, quarter prawn, any prawn on, and you just go fast right away. They're that thick. Let's get him back. Yeah. Look, out of all those prawns we pumped, that is the last one. But as usual, Dean and I pumped the prawns. So Lando, tough luck. This is mine, and that's my 10 kilo steeny. Okay. Now, in the middle, Cyril. We go look at that. Look what he looks like in the water. Oh, the water's rushing so fast, he's on his back, but that's I'm telling you. Okay. I'm gonna go past my brother. Now I'm gonna pop this into that dark water. Okay, perfect. It's in the perfect water there, so I hope not one of those quarter pounders or half pounders are picking up. I just want a butte on this big prawn. We're holding thumbs, Chad. We want to see that big one. Oh well, little one took that one. That's where it goes, those big prawns. But you know what? I'm gonna give that little bit a throw. Whatever. As Chad casts, he spots some stiff competition to his right. You can see how desperate Lander is to catch this last fish to out to me. Look at him, he's almost getting swept away by the tide. But he doesn't realize that we're just gonna go around into the creek and pump some more prawns. It's serious business now, but only one can be the ultimate grunter king. Now you never force a grunter, specifically here in the shallows. Now the way we got this fish is we were drifting. We saw the fish through to the tailing fish wall. It's a, you can't see a tailing, it's actually a blowhole. And uh, he picked me up in 15 seconds. They are such strong fish. I mean, they fight until the end. Grunter definitely fight their hardest when you get them into the shallows. Look how strong that is. Chad shows Lando how it's done as he slides out the biggest fish of the day. I'm just laughing at that, that last prawn, just taking a chance with the last prawn, huge butte, saying I'm going to beat Lando with that last prawn. Guess what happens? I throw, hits the water, sits for about five seconds, fast into this beautiful grunter. I mean, look at the size of him. He's an absolute stunning fish. Look, if you look him over the top, when they start to get big, that's what they start looking like. You get these long pectoral fins there sticking out the side. But look at that. He's a beautiful grunter in excellent condition. Circle hook in the corner of the mouth, just like you wanted. Stunning fish. Let's let this beautiful boy go. Just get the circle hook easy because it's in the corner of the mouth. Looking grunty. Lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. And that's a fitting end to an amazing morning's fishing with all the grunter caught on mustad circle hooks from the Kingfisher.